Hi, my name is Jan and I'm a postdoc here at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology. Imagine you go outside and have a look at a field of corn. Then you will realize that most of the plants are quite similar in height, which is not surprising as they grow on the same soil and they share the same environmental conditions. And moreover, they mostly belong to the same line of corns, so they share most of the genes and therefore have quite similar yield. Thousands of different corn lines were produced during the past thousand of years. Some of them are smaller and some of them are larger. A very surprising observation was made then more than 100 years ago when it was found that sometimes if you cross two of these corn lines, their offspring will be much larger in size and yield compared to their parents. For humans, that would be similar to getting a child that grows up to 3 meters and 50. Corn lines which are bred are quite pure with respect to their genes. As scientists, we call that homozygous. While these genes mix up in their offspring, which we call heterozygous. Therefore, this effect is termed heterosis. Breeders love this effect because it gives much higher yield. Scientists since 100 years are very puzzled about this. They developed many theories trying to explain it, but still cannot. The amount of heterosis is very different depending on the lines that are crossed. And as there are very many lines and even more crosses, it's impossible to test all these in the field. Therefore, scientists since long try to predict the amount of heterosis based on some traits of the parents. They started with analyzing the genes of those lines, but only with limited success. Therefore, we try to follow a novel approach to predict heterosis. We grow the young seedlings of the parental lines and analyze the content of the roots. For that, we use a novel technology called metabolomics, which is explained to you in another video by Lothar Wilmitzer. We applied that approach successful in a small set of four lines and now we take on the hard work to extend it to more than a thousand genotypes.